Hey guys, what is up today? I want to show you guys my foot champions team. It's one of the best EPL English Premier League teams you're going to see in net. We're going to have... Wait a minute, this might take some time. Let me just find him. Alisson. A lot of my players are untradeable, you see. Bear with us. Okay, there we are. Finally, Alisson. Let's put him. Okay, Alisson is my goalkeeper. Very, very good goalkeeper. Now, my centre back partnership, centre back partnership is Aspilicueta, who I absolutely love in this game. He's so fast. He's really good at interception. He's not the tallest defender. I'm gonna partner him up with Van Dijk. Now, Van Dijk is one of the best centre backs in the English Premier League by far. I'd say he's actually the top one. Him. And the informed Bailly are the best defenders. They are absolutely fantastic. They really are. But Aspilicueta is worth his price. I'm going to have in right back position Antonio Valencia. Now Valencia, I prefer him over Kyle Walker. You know why? Because he's physical. He can push you off the ball. And I just think he's, his physical presence helps. Same with Benjamin Mendy. I really like Mendy because he's fast. Uh, especially his sprint speed's quite good. His acceleration is, isn't all that. In centre mid, we're going to have Kevin De Bruyne, Conte and Pogba. Now, these three are like your creme de la creme, your cream of the crop when it comes to central midfield. These guys can do everything. They, they cost a fortune. He almost cost 400,000 coins. He's got a banging shot on him, four-star skills, five-star weak foot. Conte, you know, he's your guy to get you the ball back, you know, as you in defence. This guy's your central defensive midfielder. He's going to intercept. He's going to get you that ball back. Pogba is really going to be the passer in the team. He's going to be the heart in the team. He's going to get things ticking. He's going to get the attack going. You know, he's fantastic. Now, up forward, what we're going to have is... We're going to have... Bear with us. We're going to have the Champions League, Leroy Sané. Now, you saw me pack this guy earlier before. He's a very, very, very good winger in this game. He's fantastic. His pace is out of this world in strike position. We're going to have the one and only Aubameyang with a four-star skills, four-star weak foot. And finally, right wing, Mo Salah. What a player he is. So this team's going to cost you around two million coins, if I'm right in saying. There or there, about two million coins, depending about when you're going to pick up the team. At the moment, it will cost you that much. Obviously, player prices do decrease as better players do come out. But yeah, <laughs> this is the team. What a player Mo Salah is. What a dribbler. Now, obviously, I'm going to show you some gameplay clips of how the team performs. But like I said, it's one of the best EPL teams you guys are going to see. The only really things that you probably would change is probably get... Uh, let me think about this. You probably would change... I think the only really thing that you could do to change the team, like I was saying, is probably probably just introduce the informed version of Bailly, really, or the informed version of Van Dijk. That's it, really. Or probably get De Gea in there as well. I'm going to show you some clips. Now, I'll be honest with you, the team is fantastic. It's really, really good, man. It's crazy good, actually. Now, you know, like, usually you win, like, 1 or 2 nil in squad battles, legendary difficulty. This team will win 6 nil, 7 nil, no problem, honestly. And... It's the same in division rivals. It actually conquers division rivals. I'm going to show you. I do come up with some really good teams. The team's good, but don't get me wrong. It's not the best team in the game. There's 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 people who've got like four, five, six, seven icons in the team. It's crazy. But I will say the, the main player in the team is Paul Pogba. And the reason why I'm saying that is he's just absolutely amazing on full chemistry. He is an absolute beast in this game. I mean, look at that long shot. His long shot, his strength, his height, just everything. He wins the ball back, his defense, the way he leads his attack, his high-low work rates, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. This guy is an absolute beast in this game and for me, the best player in this team, hands down. He probably is the most expensive player as well in the team, if I'm right in saying. He's absolutely amazing in this game. This is actually, I think, with his weak foot, if I'm right in saying. And look at that shot. It went straight in. But, like I was saying, he ticks the team, he gets it going, just look at him right there, he's so strong, it's so hard to get him off the ball. 
and of course the finishing is very high quality with Salah, Son, I've got him on bench as well, he comes on 60th minute, this is Pogs and Division Rivals and look at that finish, so that's what I'm saying to you guys man, there's some real stars in the team, I have to say the defence with Van Dijk, you can't go wrong with him, I probably would get buy in for him, so when I get the money I'll fit him in. Valencia is strong as a bull, he's very, he's very reliable, so is Benjamin Mendy, the central mids, Conte is always winning the ball back, very good at intercepting, he's the kind of guy who does a lot of the work for you, you know, chasing back, getting the ball back for you guys, getting the ball, and then Pogba and De Bruyne will create chances, they're creators in the game, Van Dijk wings, headers, it's so complete, it's that like everybody compensates each other in order for them to do the job as best as they can. So for example, for Paul Pogba to go out there and really show who he is as an attacker, you need someone to be at the back, you know, saying, yo boy, I'll look after the back, you know, if they come, I'll counter them and, you know, I'll pick the ball back or I'll intercept it. You go on, you go do your thing. And that's what I loved about Kante and Pogba as a duo. Kevin De Bruyne is actually good at both, you know, he just comes in, he intercepts, he get the ball back, he move it forward and of course, you know, I'm not trying to diss Pogba's defensive capabilities, they're very good too because with them long legs, he just cuts out passes like it's nothing. Aubameyang, you already know this guy is one of the best strikers in the EPL, one of the best strikers in the game, I'll go on saying that, he's absolutely fantastic. You know, he wins headers, he does so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a match that I had with the team. So obviously this is the team I was rocking. I faced this team. Now, this was a good challenge for me actually to see how well does my team fare against this guy's very nice, very nice team with icons in it. So let's go and I'll show you guys how the game went. It was a very good game. You know, Zola honestly was causing me a some problems, I mean Zola is a fantastic player, he's dribbling and his pace was annoying, he was really good and he had a great banging shot on him, so I did have to change a little bit of my players, you know, swap them around and stuff and then of course Salah being on that wing, yes, there's no messing with him, and there we go, you know, we do take the first lead, I mean I know corners are OP but that's why you have Salah in the team and he can just open stuff up and then Leroy Sané with his height and stuff, he just gets, he just loves to head the ball in. But it was a really good match and I just have to say everyone just plays really well together. I would, the only criticism I would say was about the team that it is expensive. But then again, when you go in, in Division 3, 2 and 1, you really need a pay to win squad. There's no way that you're going to be in there just up skill rating. I mean, skill rating is important, but you need unfortunately sometimes especially when you want to compete at a high level in FIFA you need a high level team or else you're just not going to be able to compete man if you go into a competition where everybody's taking steroids and you're going natural you're going to get blown away no matter who you are if there's a way you can enhance your team by putting in money unfortunately that's what people are doing and that's the way I've created this squad now I know I'm being a bit of a hypocrite because I did say you don't have to spend money. That's true, you don't have to spend money. But unfortunately, when you want to play at a competitive level, a high level, then you, I would say you have to spend money. So I'm not being entire, entirely a hypocrite here. You can play FIFA without spending any money whatsoever. That's absolutely fine. But you won't, you're never going to be as good as the players who have immense squads who are playing in Division One, Two, and Three and trying to compete with them because players in this game I mean this game is honestly jokes aside it is I'd say 60-70% down to the team it is a majority appear to win FIFA this back in the days it wasn't like that man you remember Obama Young was a few thousand coins and Ibarbo and stuff like that and you could have a sweaty team that did damage unfortunately now look at the pro players man they're amazing in this game some of them have spent £6,000 on their team I kid you not have you seen Faze Taz and uh, Gorilla and all these lots team? It's incredible that some of them have spent a million FIFA points to create their team. So imagine how much money that is. So it's crazy to see it. And like I said, the team is very, very good. It is affordable. But yeah, it is pay to win, unfortunately, now in FIFA. The team was fantastic and had a great match with this guy. I did take a 2-0 lead. 
And that was all down to the Paul Pogba and Leroy Sané, who are like the heart and soul of my team, especially Pogba, just cuts out passes, five-star skill, dominates that mid, and then passes the ball to the right people, so obviously they can do their job. You're not going to score goals unless the central mid has been taken care of. I think in football, the real war happens in the central midfield. That is where the battle is won or lost, in the centre of that field. And that's why I stress this really, really important. It's so important in this game to have solid central midfielders. I'm talking about the likes of Conte, Pogba, De Bruyne. I'm talking about Rabiot. I'm talking about Roger N. Golan, Matsuidi. People like these guys, man, absolutely fantastic. You want to go cheaper, look into Sissoko, Fred, Dembele. People like these guys, Kondobia. Uh, I think that's his name, Kondobia, something along them lines, French central midfielder, absolute beast, man, absolute beast. These are some other gameplay uh, clips of me just dominating a match in division rivals and Salah and Aubameyang, just absolutely hammering it. So this is a very good team, it's uh, a team I use in foot champs. There might be some changes here and there, I'll let you guys know when that happens and hopefully I can show you more clips of this absolutely amazing, amazing. English Premier League squad with the likes of De Bruyne, Pogba, Conte, Aubameyang, Salah, Sa Sane as Champions League. That was a really nice goal there from Conte. I think I scored a really nice goal here with Salah here. Look at this. Look at Salah. Look at that run and look at this finish, man. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant finish there from Salah. So this is why, I mean, this is why you need a very good team, especially in foot champs when you want to compete for the, uh, you know, against the best. You need a team. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.